Um, I have two chains that's already crisscrossed here. Uh, I start out in third gear. Once the slack comes out of it, I go ahead and change to the other. Then I drop her down to first gear. That's it. Then I move out to the tie down area, which is where I'll finish up. Uh, when I get to the tie down, I go. I do go ahead and jump on uh, the very next two. That's to the eyeball here in the center. Notice your cradle in the battery pack with your opposite hand to counter the twist. Yeah. The drill's got plenty of torque. Oh yeah. And more torque than you get out of the uh, the impact. Um, Absolutely. So you want to hang on to it. You just take the slack up the third gear. And then once the drill just starts to pull out, you stop and go to the first gear. At least three chains that needs to tighten down. I have two drapes and then the front eye, uh, chain to the eye. So I'm holding you up a hair, but uh, normal tie down. Normal tie down after you throw the chain. Um, might have three minutes to tie down. Okay. Uh, now, when I'm doing these last three chains, I keep it third and tight and all through her, you know, get all three of them uh, to the point where I need to drop it the second, uh, the first gear. And then when I drop it the first gear, I tighten off, I torque all three of them down. Drop it to first. We are done. Awesome. Awesome. So three minutes to tighten them down, two minutes to loosen them up and get out of the way. So, Trust me when I say this, crane operators love us. Oh yeah? Yeah, because we move so much faster than everybody else. Okay. Um, you know, it really is. I, I wasn't kidding when I said it's the greatest innovation since the Conestoga trailer. Um, you know, now DOT doesn't bother us. When we stop for a load check, it's three minutes because there's we don't have to tighten anything down. So I love them. Recommend them for everybody. Um, I think you and I met with uh, some health issues. I think uh, I did. So um, I had a blood clot to come up in my leg. Uh, December of my wife's going to shoot me. December of 2018, one month after I got married, and I was off of work for three months. When I came back to work, I was having trouble keeping my chains tight. And I shared that with a group of truckers. And a guy tagged me on a video and they said, Ken, maybe this will help you. And I watched the video and I sent an email as quickly as I could. And two weeks later, I was in speed binders. I'll never go back to regular binders. Um, and, you know, from a health standpoint, you know, anybody can hold a drill. Uh, it's going to lengthen people's careers because cranking on those old binders, you got a lot of people that can get carpal tunnel, but more importantly, people would throw their shoulder out. 
And if you've ever seen anybody throw a shoulder out, you know, it's not something you want to be a part of. Um, so I love them. Well, thank you very much, Ken. We're very appreciative of you. I'm glad you're working out for you. And um, yeah, that's how you do a coil. Uh, we get a lot of questions on coils. Hopefully this video helps you out. But, uh, you know, Ken's been doing this for years and years. Uh, he's definitely a pro. But one of the big takeaways is you want the uh, you want to daisy chain your handles on the previous binder or previous chain it is a reaction bar it does store the energy and um, but once you're tight you're you're pretty much tight you might be fair to say you might check them you might snug them up at 50 miles but after that after you're, that you're, you'll never touch them again yeah you're good everything settles so uh, visit speedbinders.com um, please and uh, check them out Ken, thank you very much. Absolutely, it was a pleasure. Thank you.